Okay, round one is a keep. Uh, yep, keeping. And we're on the draw. Hmm. There's good old sea legs. Okay. Alright, play the squire. And we'll put any non land card on the bottom. Or in the graveyard, rather. Um, Alright, it's fine. So we'll make this trade. It does sort of ramp them, I guess, but I think I'm okay with that. I guess I don't have to, though, do I? Especially since they appear to be off their second color. Problem is, playing the border without a pirate's a bit of an issue, but well, we may have to. I mean, I can't cast sea legs on hoarder anyway, can I? So, yeah, I have some options here. I may vanquish the Dinosaur Hunter. If I play the border, I take two, but it keeps their guys back, unless they have removal. In which case, I can bring this back later. I still get to follow up with a Brawler. I think we go for it. I think we play the border and pass. So if they kill the border, then we'll block the Hoarder. Very good. So let's get the brawler down. Um, I guess we can actually attack with the border, can't we? But then they can smash back with the stalker. Alright, we're going to be patient. We have more cards in hand, so I think we're going to be patient here. So as long as they don't exile our dudes, we can really utilize March of the Drown to good effect, potentially. Alright, so we can smash with Deadeye Brawler. How, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can actually, that's kind of cool, we can totally get Ascend here. Let's just attack with the Brawler, though. Because I want to draw the card, so... Okay. pretty good. So we'll kill the hoarder and the stalker and then we'll see legs see legs one more time and remember I'm doing this like I could have just vanquished two plus sea legs but I don't mind getting the city's blessing right now. All 
That's fine too, actually. So we'll kill their guys. We have the city's blessing, which is pretty sweet. So even if they kill the brawler, we can always get it back. And I'm just going to crack this now for F6 value. Uh, we're actually going to find a black because we have so many black spells in our hand. It would be nice to be able to contract kill plus still, I don't know, cast like a March of the Drowned or something if I had to. I'm going to buffed out uh, Deadeye Brawler. Pro I'm trying to think if it's just worth it to March of the Drowned just for a Deadeye Brawler. I almost feel like it is. Well, good news for us. We're just going to take care of that and continue beating. I'm just going to beat down the beats. Yeah, we'll kill it. Smash for five. Put them in an awkward spot. You don't want to block, you don't want to take it, but you have to do both. Deadeye Brawler is so good. Fantastic card. All right, uh, we have treasures, but whatever, we're good. So I guess at this point we can sandbag lands for Tomb Robber. We already have the City's Blessing, and we can play everything in our deck, so seems good to me. Okay, so they took care of our dude, but we got more dudes on the way, my friend. So they can take our Vanquish the Week, I guess, but that's okay. We could take a March of the Drown, too. They might, might even take the March. I'm not actually sure. I don't know if it matters. Kind of have to take the Vanquish. We can fly over top, which is not bad, but we're probably just brawling here. Could attack with the... Yeah, you know what? Let's see. I guess I was thinking attack with the border. Yeah, we. you know, honestly, we probably do. Because if they kill it, we get something off the board. I still can cast Brawler plus just March of the Drown now and get it back. Just get full value. I think it's worth it. This is pretty good against our opponent, I would say. Because they got to be, yeah, they want a double block. And we're going to kill the hunter, even though we don't have any dinosaurs. I, I don't really want to put the chupacabra in their graveyard. So that can die. I'm not even, I'm honestly not trading anything for that, because now I can just go brawler and play March of the Drowned and get full value, which is totally worth it. So I could play the Cobbled Wings, too. I don't think we need to. cover, getting back that dude. It's pretty good. thing is that we still are looking pretty good, though. Because Death Touch is awesome. 
Yeah, and then we that's pretty nice too, actually. All right, so let's yeah, let's get in with their bra uh, get in with the brawler. Can't even double block it, which is pretty slick. Scoundrel's pretty cool. All right, let's take the brawler, play a scoundrel and pass. Could actually no, I was gonna say play the hunter, but no, we'll just play a scoundrel. I mean, if you're not going to block, might as well attack. That's what I say. Uh, okay. So, we have five mana. We can play Tomb Robber plus Hunter this turn, which seems pretty good. So we probably just bash with some Brawlers, see if we draw some cards first. At this point, they're like, yeah, I guess we got to trade. Draw another card. And so I don't know if we need the Tomb Robber anymore. Well, the border, can. Yeah, I don't know if it matters if it gets double blocked. You can also do border plus Tomb Robber. Got options. Up the yin-yang here. I think we just spew our hand out. So let's go... Border, plus Hunter, plus Scoundrel, plus Heartstopper. I guess Golden Demise, that doesn't even really get us that bad. Like, it still doesn't take care of Border or Brawler. So we'll just spew that hand out. And what's kind of nice is next turn we can just cobbled wing our brawler right on over top. So they can't even take care of it. So let's see. Zero cards in hand. Let's just go cobbled wing. Fly this, smash with the team. Yeah. Okay. So green black. Just co color combination we've seen quite a bit actually in this format. I mean, it kind of makes sense they made some cards for it for this format, but still not exactly sold on whether I like it or not. Um, nothing crazy from our opponent. They got some fatties. We don't have too many answers for fatties, which is potentially a problem. I guess, I mean, we have the Chupacabra in the contract killing, we can fly over top, and we have sea legs, we have death touch, so I guess we have enough answers. Yeah, I mean, the death touch is actually huge in a matchup like this. All right. Duress for removal doesn't really work against that Chupacabra, though. Costly plunder versus removal, that's not bad against the Chupacabra. Other than that, it's Flyer, which we don't really need to bring in, so we'll probably just run it like this again. Um, this is a keep. We're staying busy enough. I guess what's kind of cool next turn is I can attack with my Scoundrel, and 
if they block, I can Siren's Ruse if I want to, and I probably do. Just to get an extra card draw here. It looks like they're going to block, but I think I'm just going to Siren's Ruse. I mean, can wait too, but I'm kind of hoping they just take it. It doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> they're double blocking. I, I, honestly, they're kind of making me want to trade, but... <laughs> but I probably... Oh, well, thing is... Recall or Siren's Ruse is pretty good too. You know, I don't actually know. Probably take out the Heart Stopper, I guess. All right, we're actually gonna. I'm actually not gonna play Siren's Ruse. My thinking now is Siren's Ruse is better suited for Recaller because you can attack with Recaller, and whether or not they block, you can still Ruse and get value, and even more value with the this thing. But the issue now is. I don't have something to set up the raid on the rig hauler. But, I mean, getting the Death Toucher off their board actually does make sense. Because one of our better guys is the 2-4 Death Touch. And I want to be able to attack in with that. And trading, it, trading this for our Scoundrel is a pretty fair trade. Heartstopper is a good draw there, actually. So now we can trade with their Hunter if we want. Guess we can maybe get flying. Not that it really matters. Um, I may actually just take this so I can rig haul into Siren's Ruse. It's a actually pretty good turn progression. It's good tempo. We have to take four damage for it, but ultimately I think it's actually worth it. I think Rig Hauler Siren's Ruse is just really good synergy. Okay. So they're going to plunder. Plunder Hoarder is not bad synergy either. It looks like our opponent missed their land drop, which is cool. So. Let's get our land out there, let's attack, let's rig haul, and pass the turn. Can I bounce uh, artifacts too? Nope, just creatures. So now we can equip our rig hauler, start doing death from above here, save our siren's ruse for important situations. We have the contract killing too, so we're looking pretty good. Vanquish is not bad here either. So I think we're actually just going to vanquish this guy. And then attack for four. Leave up Siren's Ruse. Now I could have just equipped and bounced the Hunter, but I feel like Vanquish... I don't know. I'm actually okay with that. Well, I don't exactly want to bounce that. fine. Another Vanquish. Actually a pretty good draw. So, yeah, 
Let's just vanquish this again. Still leave up the Siren's Ruse. In case we need it. So they can play a fatty, we'll just fly over top and ruse, bounce it, tempo him a little bit. And we can actually still attack with a heart stopper into it too, which is nasty. Very, very nasty. And if they want to trade their Armisar for my heart stopper, it's a deal. So, alright, just, just keep drawing pure gasoline. And now Sirens Rouge Chupacabra, oof. That is not fair. That is not fair. Freebooter. So it's going to either get a Siren's Ruse or a Contract Killing, neither of which hurts me too bad, since I can just use the other one to take care of the Freebooter. Cutthroat comes down. Yeah, it's not bad. So, just going to attack with Recaller and Heartstopper. Passing. So we can counter removal spells and kill anything with our Siren's Ruse at will if I want. Like basically maybe just do Chupacabra to get back our consume or whatever. I'm not sure it matters. So journey to eternity. Yeah, we're just gonna ruse our chupacabra in response. Kill that, get our thing back, take care of their enchantment. Sea legs, cool. All right, well, we got round one. Let's see if we can keep it going. We'll see you in round two.